So, I'm thinking, what are my two favorite things to do on a Saturday? Obviously, the first one would be make video tutorials. But I think the second one would be making macaroni and eating it from the pot with a spoon. Mm. It's totally awesome. Now you have clicked on this on this uh, video tutorial for help. Might I suggest making a pot of mac and cheese now, getting some brain food, because what this tutorial is going to be all about is calculating the mole. Calculating moles is pretty tough. But with macaroni and cheese, it's totally easy. So, I've decided to do my two favorite things this fine Saturday together. So get your, get your mac and cheese and um, maybe a piece of paper or your homework and let's calculate the moles of chemicals. Alright? Little compounds. I'm gonna go get some ketchup. Okay, we've got ourselves some uh, delicious mole calculations coming up here. So, <clears throat> here's a compound. Sodium sulfate. If you catch what I'm laying down here. There's some more light. Sodium sulfate has three different elements in it, which means the Levitt guarantee states we have ourselves a polyatomic ion, which is happening happens to be right here, SO4. But that doesn't matter when we have to calculate the number of moles. So let's say we have 20 grams of sodium sulfate, okay, and we want to figure out how many gram or how many moles that represents. Remember, the mole is just a unit, okay? This is this is just a thing. This is the we figured out that uh, a mole was a set um, amount. There was a set amount uh, in grams per one mole for any element. Now, if we look on the periodic table, we're going to find out the molecular mass of this compound. So what we have to do is we have to find out the molar mass uh, or the molecular mass of each element and add them together. So we have sodium. And we have how many moles in this compound? Two. Okay. And we have sulfur times one. And we have oxygens times four. Okay. That, do you see that? We have two sodiums, one sulfur, and four oxygens. So we look on our periodic table of elements, and we find out that the molar mass for sodium is 22.2. 9, 9 grams per mole, right? And we also find out that sulfur, when you look on the periodic table, sulfur is 32.07 grams per mole. And oxygen, oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole, all right? So what we have to do is we have to take each of these guys, then sodiums and sulfur and oxygens, and multiply them by their respected numbers, right? Because what we have here is we have two sodiums at 20, 22.99 grams apiece. So what we do is we take our fancy calculator and we multiply that by two, and what we have here is now. 45.98 grams per mole and 16 now we have to do 16 times 4 because there's 4 there are 4 oxygens so this isn't going to be 16 but it is going to be 64.00 okay now if we take 64 and we add that to 32.07 which is the uh, atomic mass for sulfur and if we add that to our 45.98 uh, 
grams per mole, that's the molecular mass of two sodiums, what we have here, okay, what we have, oh, excuse me, I'll just get rid of this macaroni. What we have here, the grand total is, if you are ready to go, 142.05 grams per mole. Okay? Now, 142 grams per mole is the atomic mass of sodium sulfate. So, one mole of this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, one mole of sodium sulfate will have a mass of 142.5 grams. But how many were we given? 20. We only have 20 grams of this stuff, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give myself a little bit, a little bit more room. Yeah, that's good. So we have 142.5 grams. And so what we do is this, and this is how I want you to set it up for the homework and for tests. This is the easiest way to do it. You take the number of grams that you've been given. You have 20 grams of this stuff, right? And if we multiply that, um, oops, and I should say Na2SO4, 20 grams of sodium sulfate, and if we multiply that by a fraction, if we multiply that by one mole, 142.05 grams of NaSO4. You see what I've done here is I've set up this fraction because when we multiply these things together, the grams of sodium sulfate, and I can write one mole of sodium sulfate. Oops, two. Let me let me read this out to you. So one mole of sodium sulfate has 142.5 grams to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 20 and we're going to divide it. You see 20 we're doing some cross multiplication here to figure out how many moles we have because we don't know how many moles we're going to have. So grams of sodium sulfate cancel out the grams of sodium sulfate. And what units are we, do we have left? Moles of sodium sulfate. So you take our grand, our grand total here of 20, you take 20 grams and you divide that by 142.05. And so if you've done this correctly, 20 grams divided by this, you'll be, you'll be left with however many moles. And so the answer to this is right here. Okay. Are you ready for this? 20 grams of sodium sulfate, 20 grams of sodium sulfate actually is only 0 0.14 moles. Okay. So if the question is, how many grams, so let's walk this through one last time here, okay? 20 grams of sodium sulfate. We took the molecular mass of each element and added it all together. Two sodiums, 45.98. One sulfur, 32.07. Four oxygens, 64 grams per mole. Added that together, which gave us 142 grams per mole. Then we took... Then we took 20 grams and divided it by that molecular mass that we, that we calculated to give us a grand total of 0 0.14 moles of Na2SO4, sodium sulfate. You can't see it. Just like that. Okay? That is our answer. So, I hope that helped. Good luck with your homework.